Yo, what is up guys, it's Fully Space and today I'm just going to be doing a quick time lapse video. I'm going to leave a world download for this build just in case you guys want to see it or kind of explore or expand on it or just play with the the build itself in the world. Um, feel free to do that or start your world from it, whatever you want to do with that build is up to you. But I'm just going to leave a little download for that for this video um, as I'm going to purely be doing a time lapse and not kind of talking on how I built it or, or I'll talk on how I built it but not showing exactly how I built it. Um, just so you guys can get a nice preference if or kind of idea of what I did um, downloading it and just kind of playing around with it looking how I've built it will probably be your best bet in uh, building this or you can just as I said before start with the actual build so let's get straight to it as you can see here I'm just scaling out the bottom of this build I actually started off by building up the top piece first because I wanted it to be symmetrical um, which I had a lot of problems with when starting from the bottom because I didn't really know the exact dimensions I needed so when I started off by building the oak log frame I actually made it 7 by 7 uh, so I could get all matching squares in each sing uh, on every single side. Every single side will be exactly the same. Um, and then obviously the bottom bit I just kind of made it tuck in by one. And then it obviously gave me this nice little kind of effect. I probably could have worked out a lot easier if I started by using the bottom base first and building, building up. Uh, but I couldn't quite do that so I had to play around with um, doing the middle bit first. That's the only way my brain could work at the time and function to do that. Uh, and then I just started building up these uh, and carving out these nice little roofs here. Um, so we're just going up by a stair, then a block, then a stair, then a block, and we're repeating that all the way up to the top till we get to the center point. And I'm going to do that on this other side too. I started playing around with a block palette of uh, hay here because I wanted to kind of go with an old medieval theme. But I thought, you know what? I'll use this kind of medieval theme, but kind of scrap out and we'll build a townhouse. We'll build a large scale townhouse. So obviously, you can have quite small townhouses. Um, but I thought, why not build a larger scale townhouse somewhere maybe we could, you know, be more of the richer people would live if you built this into a town um, or someone with a slightly more <laughs> more money or income would kind of live here. Um, just kind of getting a basic idea of what I was going to do with this build is always something you want to do um, when building. You always want to think of something that you can build. So maybe like going for a townhouse is something that all kind of everyone does. Um, so maybe kind of making it larger, going with a larger scale, um, thinking about maybe the wealth of the people who live here or something like that. It's just, you know, the really small little things you don't need to think about, but kind of thinking about them will definitely um, help increase the way you think about your builds and the way you apply different things to your builds. Um, so they're always like small little tips, uh, just kind of giving it some reason of being there or some reason you've built this. Um, or you may have just taken inspiration from something, um, which is hopefully you've maybe have done with this build here. I just love to kind of build things here and there. Hopefully you guys get some inspiration from me building these types of videos. Or you just want to use the download uh, and just play on the world with them. So I've actually put it into a survival world just so you guys can kind of play around with that. And you can log on in, open up the world and you'll be set straight in front of the house. You can play survival and you'll just have this large scaled house to play around with. Um, and start your world from which is something that maybe a lot of people might consider Gen generally a lot of people um, who aren't particularly great at building prefer to do this way and just play with um, someone else's builds but you know it's always one of those things that you can do or you can just take inspiration from it so i'm just going to let the video roll out it's pretty much just a small time lapse tomorrow or well, the next time i upload i'll probably be bringing out a survival series or maybe a how to build i'm not quite sure but um i thought i'd switch it up today i haven't done a time lapse in a while um they're not, probably not the most like, requested things but sometimes they're just quite nice and relaxing to look at and maybe take some inspiration from as i feel like i haven't been doing too much building on um these kind of builds i haven't been practicing my building enough so i felt like i kind of needed to just jump back into the game and really get some building done and hopefully uh yeah you guys enjoyed it so if you do Please stick around and watch to the end of the video. There is actually a first person kind of walk around perspective if you want to skip around to that. Uh, just kind of walk around, show you what there is in the build and everything. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you all soon. Peace. something like this.
Yo, what is up guys, it's Fully Spaced here, and obviously you haven't seen the first person perspective or the interior kind of design of this, so we're going to head over and we're going to do it right now. Um, so as you can see, we've got a nice little pathway leading up to the kind of townhouse. Uh, down here we've got a bunch of kind of chest storage, different kind of things, an outside kind of um, blacksmith area, and obviously inside we've got a nice blacksmithing area down here, so we've got blacksmith inside the chimney there, um, then we've got some nice anvils, we've got grindstone and things, thus you've got storage of all your kind of materials that you would need, places to kind of dispose of your items, uh, chest here, and I can already hear a villager outside, also no, don't walk on top of those as it does break, um, they kind of look like plates but they do break if you walk on top of them, um, which I imagine would happen if I just went and walked on top of a plate, but you know. Um, so we'll head upstairs now, um, there's a nice little staircase here made with trapdoors and just some normal stairs. Didn't add this in the time lapse, kind of added it in towards the end. Um, so we kind of come up through here now. This will take you up to the main house, so you have a downstairs and then up upstairs here. Then you can go even up again, so it's quite a lot of room in this house. Uh, walk in, you kind of got a nice little chilling area, you got your smokers and things, a nice place to wash your hands, somewhere to sit down, armor stand, shelf with a light and a skull on it, come through to the next room, painting, bookshelves, lantern, armor stand, crafting table, painting again, nice simple one, then we come into our little kind of main area where we're going to be working quite a lot, so we've got furnaces, crafting tables, chests, barrels, brick stands, pots, you name it, and also you can head out to your little balcony out here to um, where you can kind of just sit and chill, there's a chair out here, there's a barrel with a lantern on it as well, trying to just give you that nice little relaxed kind of feel to it, and then obviously we can have stairs, we got a nice little kind of another armor stand design here, um, enchanting room, full level 30, nice little access to chests too, and then we've got some kind of just bookshelves there for a bit of aesthetic, uh, some barrels next to the bed, a bunch of chests you can kind of access, you got ones down here and then obviously you got ones up here, just a bit of lighting and your small little bed, uh, nice little small kind of house interior, um, not massive amounts of things in this house, just really small, probably not the most productive you'll need, but I just kind of made it so it looks really kind of like just nice aesthetically pre- uh, uh, I can't even speak now, aesthetically pleasing, something that you guys might like to live in. Um, this world is for download, obviously I've just done a pure time lapse of this build, there is no step by step build. Um, so if you want to just download or get some inspiration or start your world from kind of this build here, feel free to do it, you are kind of started right next to a little pond here, um, or river, and then you've got a jungle biome, and you've got a mountain biome over there. Um, really big jungle biome actually, I spawned in the jungle biome originally, but now the world spawn is here, where I'm standing. Um, so you can kind of spawn and you're coming through here. Um, you also have a nice little traveling merchant who's come to visit you for the probably like the millionth time you've played this game. So um, probably nothing too exciting about him. But yeah, this house took me quite a while to build, probably about an hour or so. Um, I'm really happy with the outcome of it actually. Um, it looks just so good, like a really cool like townhouse. It's, it's obviously a larger scale townhouse. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the way it came out. I'm definitely definitely pleased with this so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if so please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content if you want to download this world feel free to go into the description and hit that download button it will take you to planet minecraft where you can download from there and yeah thank you guys for the support if you haven't already please follow me on instagram the link is in my description and i will see you all soon peace